Welcome to Pitchpin, passwords made simple with pictures. In this session we're going to learn how to change Pitchpin's picture, so your user entry point. So we open Pitchpin as usual, either double click on it or opening it in this manner. The splash screen comes up and the default pitch comes up too. In this case we've already set pass points of here, here and here, and we can then gain access to pitch pin options. So we press options, and this provides us with a screen full of different options. And you'll notice at the top left here it says change picture. So we're going to choose to change the picture from the default picture to one that is more personal to us. We're warned that changing the picture will require a change of passcode and also reset point. We say yes, we acknowledge that. Windows Standard Explorer will open and will navigate to where we've got pictures and we've decided in this instance that we're going to show the luge in New Zealand. So we just click on that, say open and that's it done. But remember we've got to show a new passcode and reset point and Pitcherpin will not allow you to have a look at your personal passwords until both of these set points are initiated. So let's go to passcode. The new pitch comes up and we're going to choose in this instance that person on the luge, this person on the luge and this person on the luge as our entry point. I'm going to confirm password that's OK. I'm going to set a reset point. So we'll set the reset point and the picture comes up again. And this time I'm going to choose that chair on the chairlift coming up. And you'll see the square box around it. We confirm it and off it goes. You'll now, now see that the user details are available and you can continue to add additional institutions. If we're going to um, the user details and reduce to the minimum window, we have the standard passwords that you can highlight. Press Ctrl C to copy, Ctrl V to paste into your application or Internet Explorer logon and off you go. Just going to press continue and close pitch pin down. So let's pretend that we're using our standard applications and we want to gain access to eBay. So we've opened up Internet Explorer, we found eBay and now we just press open. The splash screen comes up as usual and the new picture arrives. You'll notice that there are three new square boxes on the picture of your choice and those boxes plus the reset box will remain there until you go into options and turn them off. I'll do that as a demonstration here. So let's go into Edit Options. Now if we go into Options and we say Hide Target Boxes, but we feel unsure about doing that straight away, we can always put the Escape key back on. So let's tick that. However, once those target boxes are hidden, they're gone forever and they won't come back so be aware. So we'll press apply, we'll close the uh, pitch pin down by pressing OK and we'll open pitch pin again to see what the difference is. So the splash screen comes up. You'll now note that there are no black squares indicating where the buttons were but we have put the escape key up. So if I do click on the wrong area, for example, I can always go to the escape key and I'm in. I'll just show you that again, but this time I'm going to turn the escape key off. Make that apply, close it down, open pitch pin again, splash screen arrives and the new user picture comes in. Now I, I'm going to pretend I'm not an authorised person to come here, so I'm just going to click in different areas 
to see what happens but nothing happens I'm now the authorised user I come back and I click on my three lucky people going down the luge in New Zealand nothing happens so I go back to the chair click my reset point click my three entry points and we're in and off we go just going to close pitch pin down now and that concludes this demonstration of changing a picture for pitch pin don't forget you can change the picture as often as you want so if you ever feel compromised simply change the picture for a new picture enjoy <laughs>